Yeah. <clears throat> And when when did you like so you're in, in the beginning so did you just have did you have friction with the band like why did you wind up leaving so w uh, with nirvana is just it, i guess initially like when i came on board like kurt wanted a second guitar player f for the live show basically like uh have a heavier sound live take some of the guitar playing responsibility off him so he could concentrate on vocals like that kind of thing and initially, like, I thought I was going to be able to contribute to the band creatively. And then it got to the point where I realized that wasn't going to happen. And the same thing happened with Chad, the drummer, I think. And it was, like, everyone in the band, including myself, was, like, very poor, poor communicators. Like, a lot of passive aggression. Mm. And, you know, I mean, we, we were kids, you know. It's How like old were you at the time? Tw 20, I think. Mm. And... Yeah, I just I just I wasn't equipped for it and it became more and more unhappy with the situation and then ended up leaving. So was it that like when you tried to uh, put creative input in, it would get shut down or they weren't interested or Kurt wasn't interested? Yeah. So like uh, on the rare time where we actually rehearsed as a band, which was not a lot, um, Kurt would kind of half heartedly like, hey. You, who has ideas and like I'd throw a couple ideas out and then Chad like a very accomplished musician in his own right would throw some ideas out and then it just kind of be glossed over and like okay here's the new song I wrote you know and start learning that mm. so it was very uh ego sense cursory you know it's yeah. like he he kind of like threw it out there but then mm -hmm. it, wa it wasn't going to go anywhere mm. and so um did you, you so you went for Nirvana first and then the Soundgarden? Yeah, like I left. We did a U.S. tour, like the first full U.S. tour that Nirvana did in '88 or '89. I can't remember what year it was, but I think it was still the '80s. And like I, I left at the end of that tour. Like okay, I'm I'm done. Like nice little four way foray into into rock and roll, but I'm gonna do something else. And when I got home. Um, I was planning on going trekking in the Himalayas. Like, really? Yeah, that was the next. That was the next thing. It's like, okay, this was a nice diversion, but uh, I'm gonna kind of fulfill this dream I've had since I was a kid of like trekking in the Himalayas. So, I, like, I went to Metzger's Maps in Seattle and was buying maps of the Himalaya of Nepal and Tibet and all this stuff and like getting gear sorted. And that's what I was gonna do. And then uh, at some point that summer. Fall, I can't remember what time of year it was. Into summer, um, Kim from Soundgarden called me, and uh, was like, "Hey, Hero, the their bass player then like quit. Do you want to audition for the band?" And I was like, "You know, at that point, like Soundgarden was my favorite Seattle band, like hands down." And it was like, uh, "Okay," <laughs> you know, fully not believing I'd ever get chosen. And then you did. Yeah. And how did that end? Uh, I got fired. What happened? Um, it's complicated, but I think at the end of the day, um, I, I wasn't getting along with Chris that well, the singer. And, you know, obviously, you know, who's going to go? Right. Yeah, it was, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how does that translate into becoming a soldier? Uh, I mean, there's more... There's there's more to the story than that because there was still like oh, I basically like getting fired from Soundgarden like put me in a pretty bad tailspin. Um, it I mean it was it was a a rough patch in my life for sure. 